Here with Brad Cox back at his barn. Brad, uh, you have a bunch of great horses going this weekend uh, for the Breeders' Cup. I wanted to ask about two of them first, Cyberknife and The Mile. Why choose the distance now? And have you done anything different training-wise to sort of get the horse ready for that distance? No, not really. I mean, he's fit. He's been running all year. Um, the Mile, give, I just think it gives us a better shot to win a Breeders' Cup race as opposed to the Classic. Um, does that mean the Classic? With, uh, top three or four horses are, you know, they're very, very good. And, you know, uh, right now I feel like he's just maybe just a step below those. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is uh, the, the world stage and hopefully he can get to the winner's circle. We'll see how it goes. In terms of your two-year-old, you have verifying going in the juveniles. Uh, horse seems to be, didn't have the greatest trip on a sloppy trap last time out. Mm -hmm. Cross the line through that, the horse seems like it's right there and it seems to be training almost perfectly coming into this. Yeah, he's training great. And I really think he's going to like the two turns. Um, I know he's going to like the two turns. He's I kind of thought that since day one with him. He's a good colt, um, doesn't pull too much in the mornings, um, stays on in his gallop outs and his works. And, uh, you know, his numbers stack up. I think he needs to take a step forward for sure. And I think the two, two, I'm hopeful that the two turns are propelling forward. Any concern with the post position there? Not really. I mean, I think there's going to be some horses in front of him. Hopefully he can set a nice stalking trip. And, you know, once they turn for home here with the shorter stretch, the mile and the 16th run, you need to be in position when they straighten up. Brad Cox, you got some great horses going this weekend. You've had been pretty hot as of late. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it.